Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're showing you guys a beginner's guide to Microsoft Outlook on Mac. Now, if you wanna see the Windows version, click this link right here to view that video. Now, if you wanna check out Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. Now we're on Office 2021. If you're on a different version of Outlook, you might see certain things that are a little bit different. Um, but most of these tips are gonna be applicable as the general software itself has remained mostly the same over the years. All right, so we'll start by navigating to our Finder and we'll go to Applications and we're gonna open up Outlook. All right, so once we first open up Outlook, we're gonna be met with a little window that's prompting us to add an email account. So this can either be a Gmail or any other personal email that you have. And we're just gonna click this little blue button here and we'll enter in our information. And then we'll just follow the prompts that it gives us. Now, if you're using Gmail or another service, you'll likely be direct to the internet where you will finish signing in to that account. Now, if you're used to Microsoft Office, this program is gonna look a little bit different than Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and that's due to the redesign that they brought to Mac. So our normal tabs, ribbons, and groups are all located within the Mac directory up here at the very top. So file is gonna give us print and import, export. So all of the tools that you'll generally find within the ribbons on Microsoft Office software, they're all gonna be right here, and I'll kinda of show you guys that as we go along. So let's start by covering some basic navigation in Outlook. So down at the very bottom left, we have different buttons here. So the first button is gonna be all of your general mail, and uh, so we'll see your inbox, drafts, archive, uh, and that sort of thing. And we click through and kind of look at what's going on here. And if we go ahead and click over one, we're gonna have a calendar. And if we click over again, we have contacts. And then these three little dots give me two more options, which are to do and notes. Now back at the mail tab here, you'll see these little arrows throughout Outlook. So if I click those, this is basically hiding or revealing information below. So we'll see inbox, wherever these little arrows are, it's gonna hide or reveal information. And that's definitely important to know. Sometimes things will get lost and you may just have to click one of these arrows. Now a nice feature of Outlook is the organization. So we can create folders and organize incoming mail by certain categories. So let's show you guys an example of that. So let's say I want a folder of emails from Google, just like these two at the top. I'm gonna go to File, New, Folder. As you can see, I could also press Command, Shift, N. Um, sometimes those key binds are helpful to get familiar with, but we'll just click on Folder. And we'll call this folder Google Inbound. And with any certain email selected, we can press this move to folder button and we can choose a folder and we'll select Google inbound and we'll press move. So that's a good way to sort through some of these files. Now, if you wanna add certain emails to your favorites, that's also very easy. Now with any created folders or directories, you can press this little star button right here, which will add it to your favorites automatically. Now let's say you're navigating through Outlook and you want to adjust the widths of certain sections of your screen. All you have to do is hold your mouse cursor between two sections and click and drag. So to the right, I can adjust the incoming email section and the actual uh, viewfinder right here. And I can do the same thing to the calendar over here. So this is helpful to know in case you want to kind of adjust your view a little bit. Now there's a little three lines button right here, and this is to filter and sort through your email. So we could put the oldest on top, the newest on top, we could change the sort by, and we have a couple of preset filter options right here. Now to our right, we have reply, reply all or forward. So this is always gonna be right here on whichever email you have selected. And if I click reply, here we have CC and BCC, which is carbon copy and blind carbon copy. And let's say I wanted to send my email and go look at it after it was sent. Uh, we have a little sent button right here where we can confirm that our emails have been sent. Now at the very top, towards the middle, we have attachments. So I can click this to select attachments from my computer. We have discard, signature, and send. So kind of our four main buttons for emails. Now if you notice those familiar highlighter, bold, italic, underline, font, all the kind of text tools, they're gonna automatically pop up as soon as I start composing a new email. So if I press reply or I press new message, 
All those tools are gonna be available here and I could use them as I please. Now we've gone over some of the basic features and functions of Microsoft Outlook, and now we're gonna cover some of the customization or preferences that you may wanna set. So we'll start by going to the top left and pressing Outlook, and we'll go to Preferences. If I go into General, here I have the ability to change my theme. So we could go light, we could go dark, we could go kind of a mix of both, uh, or we can select different themes, densities, and text display sizes. Now another thing that we can customize is this toolbar that we were talking about earlier. So if we go over to view, and all the way towards the bottom right here, we have customized toolbar. I can add or remove these from my toolbar. So you might find this useful if there's a certain feature that you're not seeing right there, you can save some time just by adding it to your toolbar. Now you can see we have a big search bar right here. This is gonna search through your mail or anything within Outlook, and we have another search bar in the help tab. So this is going to help us search for tools or anything that's going to be within these menus here. So for example, rules, or we could search for spelling and grammar. So any tools that you're not really able to find, you can just search through right here under the help tab. And if you're looking for email content, for example, a folder or something like that, that's going to be your main search bar right here. Now, if we go back to the view tab in general, there's just a lot of different options here. If you want to kind of customize this and tailor it to your needs. So you can go through this and check or uncheck certain things that you may or may not want visible on the screen. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. And again, if you're looking for Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put all the links in the description below. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.